Good day, and thank you for joining us in another MYOB Advanced Training video. In this video, we will have a look at closing and managing your financial periods. By closing a period in a module, you can prevent posting to the period by mistake after all figures have been verified and disclosed in reports. Before you close the period in any module, you review the documents that have not been released in the module and release the needed documents. In this training video, we will close a period in the sub-ledger modules that are in use and from there, we will close the financial period in the finance module for that period. In your MOB Advanced system, navigate to Payables, Processes and click on Close Financial Periods. The form lists all open financial periods of the last non-closed year. In a sub-ledger module, you can close one period or you can close multiple periods at once after the previous period has been closed in the module. Select a period you would like to close and click on Unreleased Documents on the top form toolbar to review the unreleased documents for this period. If there are no unreleased documents, a pop-up message will display. Now click on Process to close the financial period. After the period is closed in Accounts Payables, it no longer appears in the list of available periods on the data entry forms. However, the period remains active in the system and users can manually type the period in the post period box to save a document dated to the closed period. Let's go and close the same period in Banking. In your MOB Advanced system, navigate to Banking, Processes and click on Close Financial Periods. Choose the period and click on Unreleased Documents. If there are no unreleased documents for this period, click on Process. Repeat the above process for all of your modules. Now we need to close and deactivate your selected period in the Finance module. Navigate to Finance, Processes and click on Manage Financial Periods. On the Manage Financial Periods form, you can manage your financial periods in the system. A period can only be closed in the general ledger once it's been closed in all the active modules in the system. On the Actions drop-down, you will have the following options. Open. This changes the status of the selected financial periods from inactive to open. Close. This changes the status of the selected financial periods from open to closed if the period has no unposted documents. Lock. This changes the status of the selected financial periods from closed to locked if the period has no unposted documents. Deactivate. This changes the status of the selected financial periods from open to inactive if the period has no unposted documents. Reopen. This changes the status of the selected financial periods from closed to open. And finally, unlock. This changes the status of the selected financial periods from locked to closed. Now, select Close from the Actions drop-down and select the period you would like to close. On the Form toolbar, click Process to close the financial period in the Finance module. Your selected period will now be inactive in the system. This concludes our training video on closing and managing your financial periods. Please let us know with your feedback and please join us again for more as we explore MOIB Advanced through our training videos. Thank you for watching.